All right. Well, let me tell you this. 11 years ago, I'm coming up on 12. I told you 12 years sober. I'm so thankful. Let me tell you this right now. Don't give up on believing God for your loved ones. The Bible says that the prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. I'm so thankful for praying, mamas, because it wasn't for my mom. If you're following Jesus Christ tonight, you're righteous, not because of what you've done, but because you're in Jesus Christ. The Bible says that those who have accepted Jesus are hidden in God through Jesus. And so when God looks at us, he sees Jesus. So if you know who Jesus is, your prayers are righteous. And if your prayers are righteous, the Bible says they're powerful and effective. Amen. So keep praying and believing for those lost loved ones. Because I was a prodigal. Let me tell you, I must have gotten to say it 150 times. Yeah. I'm not going to debate theology here. It's more of a joke, but seriously, every time there was an altar call, it's like, yes, Lord, I need Jesus again. The problem was is that I really didn't have any perseverance. We have a new song coming out on the radio, and it's called Good Fight. And the song is really about perseverance. You know, a lot of times we think our lives are about one big fight between us and the devil. We have to recognize that that fight, that battle is God's, and he's already won it. Amen. Our fight isn't against the devil. God won that fight when he sent his son, and he died on the cross, freely gave his life, and he rose three days later. You and I have faced the battles every day. Maybe you're battling sickness. Maybe you're battling addiction like I was. I don't know. Maybe you're just battling inside your own mind as a parent or a husband or a wife. I don't know what you're battling through. But perseverance is a necessity. And perseverance just means keep going. Perseverance just means keep pushing through even when you're totally maxed out and discouraged. Even when you feel like you've got nothing left. Even when you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. James says this. He says, the testing of our faith and trials, battles, fights, the things we go through, they test our faith. It develops perseverance. And it says this, that perseverance, it must finish its work. So that we're not lacking anything, so that we can be like Jesus. And as believers, that's the goal. If you're gonna follow Jesus, the goal is to be like Jesus. So I've learned in my life to stop trying to push back on all the struggles and all the battles and all the things I don't want to deal with. And I've decided to try and embrace them. Because I know the testing of my faith develops perseverance, and if I can hold on to Jesus. I know I can get through it. If I can get through it, I know testing my faith will make me more like Jesus and make me a better man. But there was a time I had no perseverance. Maybe you're in that spot tonight. There was a time my life was so dark and desperate and lonely and hopeless. Have you ever
God who starts it, he's faithful to finish the work. And all it takes from us is a little perseverance. It's just to keep on pushing through. And we can't do it alone, for sure. We need each other. Absolutely. For me, I had a great family growing up. Chose me by grace. I 